This week is kind of unusual. It's the Feast of Christ the King, which begins Advent, and we've got Advent, and then we got Thanksgiving in the middle of uh, this week. And uh, I'm very American, so I consider Thanksgiving almost a holy day of obligation. And uh, I don't particularly like kings, but thank God Christ said he wasn't a king like normal kings. We fought a whole revolution to get rid of kings. So I'm going to talk about Thanksgiving rather than Christ the King, if that's all right with you all. Uh, Thanksgiving's an American holy day, uh, as the Catholic Church perceives it. There's a special mass written just for American Thanksgiving Day. The preface of the mass expresses its theme so clearly. Here's a quote from it. You, meaning God, have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom, a gift that calls forth responsibility and commitment to the truth that all have fundamental dignity before you. So with hearts full of love, we join the angels and saints today as we sing. It's a beautiful prayer written just for Americans. And on that first Thanksgiving day, Native Americans, pilgrims, and everyone blessed the God of all. They gave thanks, not just for food, but for their uniqueness, their unique history, their unique world, their unique trip and survival, their peace, friendships, hopefulness, their uniqueness from their mother's wounds as exemplified in their different colors. They shared their Thanksgiving with each other. And Jesus came to remind us that God has made each one of us unique from our mother's womb. We should give thanks and praise to God for our very selves. Thanksgiving must play a major part in your everyday Christian life if you are to be a person of faith. Jesus healed many people in his life, but only a few returned to give thanks to him. That is what saved them. Praising God by giving thanks demonstrates faith that heals our weaknesses. You're going to give thanks today. What are you going to give thanks for? It's Thanksgiving. What will your family members give thanks for? What is your family member sitting next to you during dinner giving thanks for? What will people over all America be giving thanks for? Will people in Iraq, the Sudan, in Palestine, Israel, Europe, China, Russia, the Ukraine be giving thanks? That's not, this is not their Thanksgiving day, but they should be thankful to God for something each day. So if you've never said thank you, to a particular person, they're probably not a friend. <laughs> if you've never said thank you to God, you're probably not God's friend. So when Jesus cured 10 lepers, only one of the 10 returned to thank him and became Christ's friend. Do the same. Think about what you most would like to thank God for. And during your next mass, say a prayer of thanks. And here's a suggestion. As the best prayer is one of gratitude, Instead of grace before Thanksgiving dinner this year, have each person around the table express one thing for which they're most thankful for to God. God bless you and have a terrific Thanksgiving.